everybody? It's your boy, DL, a.k.a. The Church Guitarist. I've been gone for a minute. Nam traveling. Nam was bigger than what I could have ever imagined. We're just getting our bearings back. Uh, you've probably seen videos. I was doing some concerts. I had to sing, make a few appearances. But we're back. I don't want to bore you too long. But before I get started, go up to the top. I need you to subscribe. Our YouTube presence is now over 100 subscribers. That's super cool. And also, people are still joining our Facebook uh, Church Guitars Club, and I think that's great. You guys stuck with me, and we got content coming for you that I believe you're going to love. Again, one more commercial. If you want lessons of some sort, guitar tutoring, um, PDF files, videos, uh, we're garnering some students from this page, but you need to email me at thechurchguitarist at gmail.com. Well, that's enough talking from me. Let's get into today's lesson. It's Quartet Day. You're gonna love it. Get your guitar, standard tuning in the key of E. We're gonna be in the key of E flat for this song. You don't want to miss it. Let's go. All right, everybody. It is quartet day, and we are going to be in the key of E flat. You guessed it. It's a good quartet key. Let me spell out that for you real quick. That's E flat, B flat, E flat, and G. But you can also put the G as the root note and play it as G, B flat, E flat, and G. Here's the That's with the G at the root note. But here is how you would play it if it was churchy. This is an E flat 9 chord. That's E flat, G, D flat, F, and B flat. I'll play it again. E flat, G, D flat, F, and B flat. E flat six or E flat nine chord. I'll show you how to put rhythm to this. Here's an accent when you're playing that E flat nine chord. You can also use your pinky to reach up and grab the D flat. That's a whole step from that last B flat note on the first string. So here's the meat and potatoes of what quartet really is. It is drives and licks. So let me break this lick down for you. It is chromatically F, G flat, G, E flat, C, E flat, C. I'm going to slow it down as much as possible. That's that F, G flat, G, E flat, C, E flat, C, G flat, E flat, C, and then you reach up and grab that B flat, another chromatic scale, B flat, A, A flat, then you move back to the fifth string for the G flat to G. I'm going to play it through a couple times, and then I want you to understand it's also going to take some alternate picking to pull this off because you're jumping from the fifth string to the third string, 
and you have to do it all in rhythm or in time. Take your time until you get all the notes under your fingers. Remember, alternate picking. Here's another way I like to end quartet drives. It's with a B6-9 chord to a D-flat-6-9 chord. I'll spell it out. It's B, E-flat, A-flat, and D-flat. And then you just move it up a whole step to the D-flat-6-9 chord. I'm usually calling my chords based on what root note I'm playing. Let's try it with a beat real quick. favorite chord progression in quartet music and that is the fourth mode or the four the minor four chord it is literally an a flat nine looks just like the e flat nine this is where the band starts to really have fun Lastly, there's a little lick I like to put in on the four. It is B flat, C flat, and C to an A flat chord that toggles between an A flat chord and a G flat chord. It sounds like this.
So let's put them all together in real time. music there's almost no other music I love playing on guitar more than quartet I hope you learn something that you can add to your chord library again if you like private lessons if you hear jingle bells that's my dog in the background scouring about the house but if you want private lessons of some sort over Skype or WhatsApp or whatever medium or the internet that you can use always email me thechurchguitars.com. Also, if you have a request, there's a certain song you'd like to um, see done or you want to learn it, you can't crack the code, I'd love to help. Email me, thechurchguitars at gmail.com. Again, stay tuned up. I'll see you soon.